Hey guys, this is Odd1 Gaming. This is going to be another Watcher of Realms video. Today's video might not be for those of you that are faint of heart. And again, this might be one of those videos where I'm going to start saying from the beginning, maybe do not try this at home unless you're someone that's actually a spender and whatnot. So what am I talking about? Well, I'm talking about the new legendary chaotic bundle that we just got. This one is, uh, it's a little bit crazy. It's a little bit insane, but it's so good at the same time if you are a spender. Obviously, it's uh, it costs like $70. I was debating, I didn't really want to go for it, but then the misses, Ivy League Gaming got it. And well, you should go, you guys should go check to see what she actually got, okay? So the first thing with this one is obviously the Chaotic Bundle. It contains some really good but then at the same time, maybe some really get, uh, bad legendary. So first of all, obviously the one that I would love to get would be some one of the Lords gone, but definitely Valdoran would be at the top priority. Okay, he's an amazing Lord. He can do some crazy stuff. Gone again is really amazing as a tank. You can see him in like uh, arenas. You can see him in like void rift and like in you know in tons of areas is where they can be used. At the same time, when we look at the normal legendary heroes, we have Admiral Claw. We have Ardea, which I would love. She's just a beast. Carnelian. I already have her. Cerberus, the Somi, Dorza, Giselle, KD, Lugaru, Sargak, Uridan, and Valeria. So. You know, there's good and then there's bad. Like the ones that I would definitely, I'm not sure I would really want to get is a Giselle, Durza, like I would not care. Obviously I would not care about servers, the Somi, but if I get them, it is what is already have them. But there's quite a few, like if I'm getting a Giselle, I'm gonna be selling my account, okay? If I'm getting a Giselle, I'm selling my account. This is what my account has, guys. As you can see, it's pretty stacked account. So contact me on Discord, throw me some offers if you see me getting a Giselle and then we're gonna discuss, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. But it, it might make me feel that way, you know? Spend 70 bucks to get something like that. You might be like, oh my God, why did I actually go for it? You know, why did I go for it? But at the same time, like I said, if I do get a gun, a Valdoran, an Ardea, you know, I would, I would Uridan even, I would feel insane over the moon because they're really, really powerful characters that honestly they can change an account, even though you saw my account is pretty stacked. Some of these ones could be really fun. And at the end of the day, it's the dopamine as well. You know, it's the dopamine that, that you want to get. One thing I do want to mention also is the fact that keep in mind that you're not just spending $70, which is like, you know, the equivalent of this W gold that I bought. You're not just spending $70 to get a legendary because that would be really sad if you spent $75, you got a Giselle or something bad and you'll be like, oh my God, why did I do this? At least it does come with 3000 diamonds, which has pretty decent value. It comes with three legendary crystal crystals, which again are pretty rare. I do have a ton, but you know, they're not as easy to get and you want to keep building people. They're hard to get. So it does have some other, uh, you know, it does have some other value apart from just getting that legendary. But I guess I'm not gonna try and keep this uh, video too long. I'm not just gonna keep trying to squeeze it and for an eight minute video just for the sake of that. I just wanted to give you know a little bit of a uh, talk about why you should get it, why you should not get it. And basically explain why I'm going for it because well, I'm a content creator at the end of the day. I'm a little bit of a Kraken. This one counts as the business expense, but Let's see, can it be worth it? Can we do get lucky? The reason why I'm hyping it so much is because the second I click to buy this, it instantly gives you the legendary. So, you know, if you're planning to record it or whatever, just to share with friends, keep in mind, you get it instantly. So, wish me luck, guys, finger crossed, finger crossed for me. Let's see, can we actually eat 70 bucks? This is the most I think I've spent on one of the, because everything else was 50 so far. Guess this is 70, because again, they got more powerful stuff, but, Oh, come on, Aaron Jesus. Well done, Watcher. Well done. It's a good move. You have five days, six days in total to decide. So I, if you guys do, if you guys buy it as well, let me know in the comments down below who did you get. But wish me luck. Let's see. Please make it, make it good. Make it be something good. Come on, come on. Um, yeah. Okay. Okay. I'll take it. I will take it. It's one of the ones that I wanted. Okay. It's one of the ones that I wanted. He's a really powerful fighter. I'm happy with this. I'm happy with this and I'm going to be looking forward to playing with Uridan. Okay, Uridan, welcome to the team. The reason why he's, I like him so much is because he's also a cultist, not just chaotic. He came really powerful for uh, most areas of the game. Definitely a really, really strong fighter. I'll take it. Uridan, welcome to the club. So basically when he's, uh, let me see, where's the max level? 
Okay, max level. He has a, a two space range as a fighter, which is pretty good. You know, most of them have one, which makes him kind of mad. But he has really strong base attack. When he's maxed, 6,100 attack. I think that's one of the highest in the game, okay? And he has a he has a really cool kit. Uh, he has an AoE, AoE damage as a fighter, which makes him really good. Then this one, he does even more AoE damage with stun, with the potent surge that uh, continue to recover after reaching its cap. So this one, basically, you can cap to have two ultimates used at the same time. Then uh, the Lord HP, uh, the Lord HP, the grants a higher rage regen on auto, so you benefit from having less HP. Then this one deals, uh, you know, it's a wall of text. I'm not going through all of it because I don't want to take this video to be too long. But even for Arena, it reduces his cost by five. So I guess it's worth it. I guess it was worth it. You know, could have been worse. Could have gotten a Giselle. I'm not selling my accounts, guys. I'm keeping it. But yeah, I guess this is going to be for today. You're then welcome to team the an amazing fi uh, magic fighter since I don't have Magda. I'm definitely going to be playing around with it. I'm going to have fun. If you guys are going to buy it, good luck. Let me know in the comments down below what you got if you got it. But yeah, thank you all for watching, guys. As always, if you did enjoy my content, don't forget to like this video. Subscribe to the channel to see when I upload next. And we're going to see you on the next one. Peace, love, take care, everyone. Bye, guys.